Coil on a rope can be a bit of a traumatic process sometimes, but ultimately you want a rope coil that you can end up working with and it's a manageable. You can have something like that that has something to hang on. You can have something like this that's just bound at the top and it's nice, neat, it's easy to work with. And uh, to start with, the first thing I like to do is just run the entire rope through my hands. Just run it through quickly just to make sure there's no actual knots we're gonna have to contend with while we're in the middle of coiling. So once we're coiling, you're just gonna, depending on the length of the rope and the diameter, decide what kind of a spread you need between your hands. I'm not gonna wrap it around my arm. I'm just gonna spread my hands apart. If it's a long, thick diameter rope, I'm gonna go with a full spread of five feet, but smaller rope, just get what's comfortable and then bring your hands together and there's the coil we're going to work with get that same distance each time and there's our coil now do it again and here's what happens is we get figure eights we get the uh, different twists and turns in the rope that we don't want to have there ultimately so here's the trick when you get to this point this hand here the rope will roll away from you at the top. You're just going to roll it like that in your fingers as you bring it together. So once again you get the spread between your hands and this rolls away from you at the top every time I'm going to do this. If you need to do a little bit of extra fussing when the hands meet that's fine. There I did a little bit too much it was going to go bad. Every now and then also I want to just shake that rope just to force the twist down so the part I'm working with is not the twisty part of the rope. A little bit of twist there. Once again, roll away at the top. Roll away at the top. Roll away at the top as you come together. If you need a little bit extra, that's fine. So just carry on. And once again, as you get down that rope, I want to just force the twist out by shaking it. Ultimately, you need to leave enough rope to wrap your rope with. One of the easiest ways to do this is just to do three half hitches, which would be lashing at the top. So I just pass this in behind. I've created a loop at the top. I reach through, pull this through the coil of rope. That's one half hitch. I'm gonna do it again. There's two half hitches. I'm going to do it again. Just reaching through the coil. There's three half hitches. That's lashing. And we have a manageable coil of rope. 